This is a message to the Infinity Ward developers because they're actually listening to the real community, not the failed esports initiative, the 1% of the 1%. Arguably the reason why David Vanahar got fired is because he focused so much energy and resources into esports and under his reign, Call of Duty was selling 30 million copies every year. Now it's selling like 10 million copies. So now that that's out of the way, there's hope. And it wasn't Infinity Ward's fault, all right? They had a lot of issues with Activision. People got fired. People uh, sued Activision because they weren't getting paid. The, the studio was in shambles. But I think they got it back together now. And there is some hope. They got a good engine. I think they got a great mindset going into this Call of Duty game. And if I could give a few suggestions. Now that you're listening to the real community. Because I, I felt like I've been saying this for years. And it's been going on deaf ears. Like I haven't been getting responses to this so let me just say what i think should be in the game what are my credentials <laughs> we already know how fast my nuke is i got the fastest mob it the list goes on and on and on so this is what i gotta say infinity ward invented one of the greatest game types of all time infected they invented all or nothing drop zone we need party games why? I think this gameplay is a perfect example. I randomly get into this lobby with my teammate Sage. He's a big fan. He said he watched the world's fastest nuke 28 times. And this is what Call of Duty has been lacking. Communications. People on the mic. And I love 2v2 for this because in between lobbies, you can talk your trash. And let's be real. That's what Call of Duty is all about. And I feel like these last few years, Call of Duty was that kid in high school that freshman year, he was a skater. Uh, next year, he was like a gangster rapper. The next year, he's a goth kid. And then the next year, he's a skater again. Like, Call of Duty was a poser. I'm going to be real. These Basically all of PlayStation 4 and Xbox One's life cycle, Call of Duty was not the game that I knew. It wasn't the game that I grew up on. It wasn't the game that I fell in love with. It wasn't the game that I set multiple world records on. It was some fake SJW thing that I did not recognize. And that's the reason why I didn't stand for Call of Duty. Why I didn't suck the cod cock because it was not call of duty in my mind i think this game could go back to call of duty what it was what it used to be and it wasn't an sjw game it was the opposite of that it was so good back in the day jumping on those modern warfare 2 lobbies are you kidding me people getting abused on the mic if you were good you got rewarded if you were bad you got punished but what happened in these recent call of duty games they rewarded bad players for being bad and they punished good players for being good and it was totally ridiculous all i'm asking for is a strong out of the gate performance if we look at recent call of duties call of duty world war ii was a failure at launch it had the pieces to the puzzle it was world war ii it has some okay kill streaks but at the end of the day they gave no content whatsoever and this is another reason why michael condry got dropped from the studio is because he had a debate with me and he said it's about giving a great experience at launch and following it up with stuff but the only thing they followed it up with was supply drops until he left the studio and then they had an update but it was too little too late i want party games i want infected first and foremost we need infected because i think the last infinity ward game did not have infected right away and 
you can look at the numbers, you can look at the supercomputer and calculate that maybe Infected and Gun Game and Sharpshooter and All or Nothing wasn't the most played game types, but at the same time, is Capture the Flag? Is Hardpoint? I would argue Infected is more popular than those game types, but what Infected offers that these other game types don't is a whole nother universe. It's not the same. You don't get kill streaks. The perks are different. It's it's a different experience, and that's what we want. We don't want to play Team Deathmatch. We've been playing Team Deathmatch for 14 years now. And you know what? I would say Black Ops 1 wager matches were very popular because they had something that you were playing for. You were wagering COD points, and I know now COD points are different. You have to pay for COD points to unlock things. But before, COD points were a virtual currency that you earned only in-game by playing. So here is an idea. How about you have price points? Captain Price. You can name it whatever you want. Fastest new coins. Bitcoins. I don't care what you name it. But every time you play a game, you get one price point. Every time you win a game, you get two price points. And when you save up enough price points, you get enough money to unlock a golden camo on your gun. It's as simple as that. It doesn't have to be too elaborate. It doesn't have to be too complex. I think one of the reasons people like playing Battle Royale games or games like DayZ is because the gratification and the satisfaction you get for making another human's life miserable through the anonymity of the internet. Honestly, that's why I like Battle Royale games. I love killing someone and they, you might hear them on the mic. How the fuck did they do that? That many bullshit. I love that. I love sending people back to the lobby. That's my hobby and kind of my job, oddly. It's straight bars and... No, sorry. Earlier, I talked about how they were rewarding bad players for being bad and punishing good players for being good. I think a party game system with a wager match dynamic to it is the total opposite of that. I'm putting my money on the line in a free-for-all environment saying that I am better than you. I am risking my hard-earned COD points for the chance to earn way more COD points. And I thought that system was beautiful, but they never followed up with it. Modern Warfare 3, they had a party game system, but it was just party games, and it probably lost a lot of traction because there was no really incentive to play. Yes, it's fun. I, I, I like playing for fun, don't get me wrong, but when you compare it to a game type like Team Deathmatch or Domination, whatever one you want to compare it to, you get rewarded with XP, you unlock camos for your guns, you really don't get anything when you play party games, at least the recent party games, besides something different, besides the standard, you know, three, five, seven kill streaks and respawning and you know, guaranteed gun loadouts. Like, it, it's a little bit different, and I, I like that. It's kind of quirky, and... Like, I don't know, after you play Team Deathmatch for 28 years, <laughs> you you kind of want something a little bit different. And it was so... Man, I thought it was real fun, dude. What do they have to lose by adding more game types? I told Michael the Con Condry, we want more, not less. And I think this is another reason why he got fired or he moved on well he actually got promoted but he's not working on call of duty anymore so that's really good in in my eyes because i i told him we want more not less and he said well the fundamental game developing theory nowadays is giving a great experience at launch which cod uh, world war ii was not a great experience at launch and then following it up with updates and, and more content, which they didn't do that as well until he left as studio head. And by then, it was too little, too late. 
and I don't think Modern Warfare is going to have that problem because on launch they're going to have 2v2, they're going to have 20v20, 10v10. They have some content there. They have the nighttime game type, which I don't think is going to be that popular, to be honest, but we will see. But i just been a big proponent for party games for as long as I can know, and if, if I wouldn't say something now I would be ashamed I have to say something because I feel like there's actually a movement here make hard great again was made fun of by so many people and now we see drifter saying make hard great again I don't know if it's it's ironically but he's mentioned it a few times and I've seen the developers add a lot of things that I've been asking for for a very long time and that just gives me hope so, I have to do this. I had to make this video. I have to give this message to Infinity Ward. The last message to Infinity Ward was warning them about One Man Army new tubes. They did not listen or they did not have the capability to listen because they were going through a lot of problems uh, with Activision. There was lawsuits. Uh, there was a lot of issues. People were leaving the studio. They weren't getting paid. It was actually kind of bad, uh, just like my aim right here. But that's a perfect nade. No, it's not. Nothing happened. Um, okay, this is an intense situation. One round left. He misses the shot. He's reloading his gun. It is overtime. He's going directly to the flag, and we take him out for the win. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Maybe there is a developer at Infinity Ward actually listening. Maybe they got this up on the big screen and the whole company is watching if that's the case everybody go check out a video called the world's fastest nuke you won't be disappointed <laughs>